hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add different types of player character and opponent character as well okay so let's start from the player okay here it is this is our first character so if we click on game then click on player characters this is Eddie now let's add the second one which is this one so I'm just gonna simply drag and drop it in here okay then I'm going to click on prefab unpack completely let's move it up select eddy and this character and then click on create empty parent name this as player characters okay now click on it and what we're going to do now is click on eddy again duplicate this go ahead and drag and drop it in this second one rename it And when you rename it, click on the second character, drag and drop it. Then click on Eddie again, copy this character controller and paste that as well. Then copy this script and paste it right here as well. Let's move the script above. Okay the hit sounds are added and the effects opponent is also added attack animations as well we need to change these uh, attack effects because if you notice these attack effects are for our eddy character so now let's open up the second character okay so if you notice the first effect right here is in the right leg so let's open the right leg of this character so if we click on right up leg, right foot, right toe base in here, we can copy and paste this first and fourth one. So I'm going to duplicate both of them and drag and drop it in there. Okay, then we can rename it. And after renaming, then make sure that you reset their transform so that they are on the new character fits perfectly fine like this okay now where is the third one the third one is on the left leg so let's close the right leg open up the left leg of this character okay let's duplicate it and drag and drop it in there okay in this left toe base first of all rename it and then reset the transform that's it now the second one okay we did the effect 3 effect 1 and 4 okay effect 2 is left now which is this one so it is in the left hand so let's open up spine spine 1 spine 2 left shoulder left arm left forearm left hand and inside the left hand we're going to duplicate that paste it reset the transform and also reset the name as well that's it now let's close eddy click on this character let's open it up all of the effects let's try and drop the first effect then the second then the third and then the fourth so now if you click on it they are now this new character effects okay and now if you click on Jin Kazama now we have two player characters so make sure that you drag and drop this Horag in this fighting controller of Jin Kazama and also in this players array as well okay because we have two player characters now now if I close Eddie and leave Horag as it is okay and also if you click on main camera on main camera we now have two player characters or you can say two targets so make sure that on the main camera you also drag and drop it okay now we can go ahead and play the game now you will notice that the camera will follow this new character and the opponent will try to hit this character as well and we can damage the character as well as you can see
this character height is a little bit smaller so I'm going to change it to 1.1 that's it okay so now we have the second character now let's add one more you can add how many characters you want okay I'm just showing you how you can add characters so I'm gonna just add one more for the player and that will be it so we now want to add this king okay first of all click on Eddie duplicate the Eddie animator drag and drop it inside king okay then click on king first of all rename this to king okay leave the opponent king animator uh, controller as it is okay just uh, rename this to king then drag and drop the king character right here for example then let's move it in there make sure it is on the ground like this resize it okay then move it inside player characters and then click on prefab unpack completely drag and drop the king controller then click on Horeg, copy the script, copy component, click on King and then paste component as new, move it at the top click on Horeg again and copy this character controller, click, click on King and paste the component character controller component like this okay we now have this third in which the opponent is already added for now we have one component so it is added we just now need to change the effects okay so these are the Horeg uh, effects now if you open up King as you know in the left leg we have the third effect so let's open up the left leg in here let's duplicate the third effect drag and drop it in the left toe base okay reset its transform and then rename it that's it now the effect 1 and 4 is in the right so let's open up the right leg here it is now let's duplicate 1 and 4 so select both of them Control D to duplicate it and then drag and drop it in the right leg base right there right toe base reset them and when you reset them that is it Okay, you also need to actually rename it as well to just effect 1 and effect 4. Now effect 2 is in left hand so open up spine, spine 1, 2, left shoulder, left arm, left forearm, left hand. Now in left hand duplicate effect 2 and drag and drop it in the left hand, reset the transform, rename it and that's it now close the Horeg character select King drag and drop effect 1 in there then effect 2 then effect 3 and then effect 4 okay now you can click on them to confirm it that yes it is this character effect like this then close King click on camera drag and drop King in there because now we have three characters let me close the Horeg or you can say deactivate it now click on opponent as well in the opponent now we have three player characters so drag and drop king in there and try and drop king in there as well that is it now you will notice the camera will follow king and the opponent as well as you can see and now as you can see this character works perfectly fine as well okay so in this way you can add different player characters okay I have added three characters and I hope you guys understand now how to add different characters and I hope you guys are able to now add even more okay you guys try 
and add six characters for example okay and let me know as well and in the next video i will show you how you can add different type of opponent characters so with this turn see you guys in next one